The saying, change is the only constant in life, is very well applicable in the field of technology, where new developments with the potential for profound impacts occur daily, with fields like artificial intelligence, biotechnology, renewable energy and quantum computing, the range of possibilities is vast and infinite. In this video, we will delve into some of the most intriguing emerging technologies that have the potential to transform the world as we know it. So sit back, relax and get ready to journey into the future with us. Are you prepared? Let's get started. Sun-powered chemistry. The use of fossil fuels to produce various compounds that enhance human health and comfort has negative consequences such as carbon dioxide emissions, extractive procedures and climate change. However, a promising alternative method harnesses solar energy to convert waste carbon dioxide into these essential compounds. This approach has the potential to reduce emissions by utilizing unwanted gas as a raw material and using solar energy for production instead of fossil fuels. This groundbreaking technology is a significant step towards developing solar refineries that can produce valuable chemicals from waste gas. These platform molecules can form the basis for creating a diverse range of products, such as fertilizers, textiles, detergents and pharmaceuticals. Remarkably, numerous startups are spearheading a new technique for converting carbon dioxide into valuable compounds by driving chemical reactions with energy. Although using electricity generated from fossil fuels would be less environmentally friendly, the use of photovoltaics could potentially overcome this drawback. Microneedles for painless injections and tests the development of tiny microneedles could potentially revolutionize injections and blood testing, offering a painless alternative by avoiding contact with nerve endings. These almost invisible needles can be used in patches or attached to syringes. Currently, there are various vaccine delivery methods using syringes and patches available, with many more undergoing clinical trials for treating conditions such as diabetes, neuropathic pain and cancer. These devices are more efficient in drug administration by delivering drugs directly into the epidermis or dermis instead of relying on skin diffusion, as traditional transdermal patches do. Recently, researchers have made a significant breakthrough by incorporating microneedles into a therapeutic cream or gel, paving the way for a new approach to treating skin ailments such as psoriasis, warts and specific types of cancer. Edge Computing Edge computing is a computing model that aims to bring data processing and storage closer to its sources, resulting in reduced response times and bandwidth usage. This model leverages the advanced computing capabilities of devices, which enables near real-time predictive analysis and provides in-depth insights that have the potential to enhance quality and value. Another advantage of edge computing is its ability to distribute workloads, making use of the latest computing capacities. It can also have a significant impact on operational processes by embedding intelligence in devices, leading to improved responsiveness for businesses, employees and customers. To achieve optimal utilization of devices, a substantial proportion of processing must be shifted towards the edge. Internet of Things IoT. The advent of the Internet of Things IoT is poised to trigger substantial changes across various spheres of our existence. This innovative technology has the potential to revolutionize virtually every facet of our lives. In the healthcare sector, for example, IoT is already being leveraged to develop remote patient monitoring systems that enable doctors to remotely track their patients' health and detect potential health issues before they escalate. In transportation, IoT is aiding the creation of intelligent traffic systems that can optimize traffic flow and minimize congestion. Furthermore, IoT is transforming the home automation sector, making it possible to create smart homes that can be managed using a smartphone app or voice commands. Nevertheless, it is crucial to acknowledge and address the challenges and concerns that come with the implementation and growth of IoT to fully capitalize on its benefits while mitigating any adverse impacts. By taking thoughtful and proactive measures, we can establish a future in which IoT is utilized to enhance our quality of life, boost productivity and drive progress towards a more sustainable world. Satellite Constellation A satellite constellation refers to a group of spacecraft that share the same design and functionality and are intended to operate in similar complementary orbits under common control to achieve a shared objective. These constellations have various applications, including navigation and geodesy like GPS, Galileo and GLONASS, satellite communications like Iridium and Earth observation like DMC and Planet Labs. Currently, companies are developing large-scale constellations in low- and mid-Earth orbits to provide global satellite internet or support the Internet of Things, enabling direct connections between devices and systems. 
By having thousands of individual units in low altitude orbit, satellite constellations can significantly reduce signal latency, which is the time taken for signals to travel from a ground station, providing internet to a satellite and then to a user, while ensuring high coverage levels, particularly in remote areas with limited ground infrastructure. With around 2,000 active satellites currently orbiting the Earth, the number of satellites could increase by tens of thousands in the coming decades due to projected satellite constellations. Satellite constellations have become an essential element of space-based resources that track a range of phenomena aimed at protecting lives and property. These constellations consist of space assets from multiple countries, including Europe, Japan, India, Russia, China and Korea. The information provided by these constellations is used both qualitatively in images and quantitatively in products derived from cloud properties, atmospheric humidity and radiance to predict the weather using numerical models on a synoptic and regional level. Lower Carbon Cement Every year, manufacturing of cement, an essential element in producing concrete, entails the consumption of fossil fuels, resulting in roughly 8% of global CO2 emissions, with a total output of 4 billion tonnes. As urbanization accelerates, this figure is projected to rise to 5 billion tonnes in the next 30 years. In response to this problem, startups and researchers are focusing on low-carbon substitutes, such as altering the composition of the ingredients employed in the production process, utilizing carbon capture and storage technology to minimize emissions and eliminating cement from concrete. Green Hydrogen World leaders worldwide are committing to ambitious targets for reducing emissions, with green hydrogen being a frequently used term. Professor Hong Chi Sun from Edith Cohen University believes that green hydrogen is crucial for ensuring energy sustainability in the future. However, several significant challenges must be addressed before achieving this goal. According to Professor Sun, although hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, it is usually found in combination with other elements, particularly oxygen, as part of water. Generating hydrogen on a large scale requires substantial amounts of electricity and hundreds of billions of dollars are being invested globally in developing a clean method of hydrogen production. Catalysts have enormous potential in ammonia production, which is an essential ingredient in fertilizers used in global food production. However, ammonia production has seen little change over the past century and is energy intensive, accounting for 2 to 3 percent of global CO2 emissions. These small catalysts could revolutionize the production of crucial chemicals in a more sustainable and environmentally responsible manner. GPS-3 LMSS, a division of Lockheed Martin Space, has designed and built GPS-3, a communication satellite commissioned by the United States Air Force to maintain the Navstar Global Positioning System. The first 10 satellites of the GPS Block 3 program, previously known as the Block 3A, are included in this initiative. The US Air Force has given the GPS-3 satellites nicknames for the first time. The inaugural satellite, Vespucci, was named after the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci, whose name was given to the Western Hemisphere by early cartographers. The second satellite was named Magellan, in honor of the Portuguese navigator Ferdinand Magellan, who led the first circumnavigation of the Earth. The third satellite, named Columbus, pays tribute to the Italian explorer and navigator Christopher Columbus. GPS-3 is expected to have a 15-year lifespan, which is double that of some current GPS satellites. It is predicted to be three times more precise than current GPS technology, reducing accuracy from 5 to 10 meters to 1 to 3 meters. The signal will be more potent, allowing it to overcome interference. The GPS Block 3 initiative aims to improve signal reliability, accuracy and integrity. Quantum Sensing Quantum sensing can unlock numerous opportunities such as autonomous vehicles that can detect obstacles beyond their line of sight and portable scanners capable of monitoring brain activity. By utilizing the unique properties of quantum mechanics, quantum sensors can attain a high degree of accuracy, often using the difference in energy states of electrons as a fundamental unit. Although many current quantum sensing systems are complex and costly, research is being conducted to create smaller, more economical alternatives that could open up novel applications. Whole Genome Synthesis The progress made in the technology used for generating genetic sequences that can be incorporated into bacteria has led to increased amounts of genetic material and more extensive modifications to the genome. This development can facilitate the study of viral propagation mechanisms, the production of vaccines and other therapies. It can also support the sustainable production of chemicals, fuels and building materials from biomass or waste gases. Moreover, this technology can make it possible to develop plants that are resistant to pathogens or to manipulate the human genome, presenting both potential risks and solutions for genetic disorders in the future. 
All right, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you and goodbye.